Good afternoon! Welcome to another travel vlog. We are actually here in Terminal 3 already. Uh, we're flying today to Barcelona. This is really the main trip uh, for the year. Mom and Tati's. <laughs> uh, nice. check in na kami. I'll tell you more about what happened on this trip so far when we're inside. So, so far. Pacific Lounge at Terminal 3. We are taking Qatar Airways today and this time we are flying to Barcelona, Spain. We are going to take our Western Mediterranean cruise. We have prepared for this trip for a year. So, ito talaga yung main vacation dapat namin na nakaschedule for this year. Ay, nandito ako sa bar, sa Katay Lounge. Hello, ma'am. Shout out, hello, kay Jason and Arnel. We will already go to the departure area. So again, Cathay Pacific Lounge kami nag-stay. Although Qatar yung flight namin, sabi nila we can use the Cathay Pacific Lounge or the PAGS Lounge. So we opted for the Cathay Pacific Lounge to try it also. Uh, we're boarding already. Again, this is our first time riding Qatar Air. So unfortunately, we opted for the fuel suite. We were hoping to get the fuel suite, but unfortunately, our aircraft changed. So, like four times. Yeah, like four times. So, we are not fuel suite yet. This is the first problem we encountered for this trip. We chose Qatar Airways because we wanted to try their famous business class Q suite. Unfortunately, our flight already got rebooked twice due to change to a non Q suite aircraft. Although they accommodated us and rebooked us to supposedly a Q suite flight, it still got changed just two days before to again a non Q suite aircraft. Unfortunately, for this flight, we got the 222 configuration for Boeing 777 300ER. Ito pa naman yung long leg namin, 9 hours. I got my welcome drink. This is their signature lemon mint. It's actually refreshing. These are the buttons for the seats. We also have the earphones here on the side. There's an extra compartment with bottled water. And here's the remote for the TV. Here's the night light too. Their amenity kit is also from Diptyque. It has facial cream, lip balm, lotion, and a decent sized bottle of perfume. It also came with socks and earplugs. They have a male version, same content, just with a male scented perfume. They also gave our pajamas. Our flight is supposed to leave at 6.35 p.m. So finally, it's pushback time. The cabin environment is carefully controlled. If oxygen is required, masks will appear from above you. Pulling the mask towards you will activate the oxygen supply. Place the mask over your nose and mouth, adjust the band to secure it, and breathe normally. When your mask is fitted correctly, you may then assist others. If you need to charge though, the plug is under the seat. Kinda hard to reach actually. 
I guess because this is one of their oldest planes. There's a USB charger on the side of the seat, but I'm using Type-C. Let's check out their in-flight entertainment. You can use the remote to control the TV since it's a bit far when you are reclined. They have a great movie selection actually. They offered another drink and some nuts. This time, I got their So Jenny, which is a non-alcoholic drink. Let's check out their menu. There's dinner and light refreshments too as a second meal. Time for dinner. Yes, chinek ko talaga kung totoo yung candle. Haha. <laughs> George got the Arabic meze. Same with Nabi and Vito. Tikman din natin. It's actually good. No wonder it's famous for Qatar Airlines. This is fish something. It's not in the menu, but it's good. And here's my appetizer, seared tuna with avocado cream. It's also good. Now it's time for my grilled Angus filet with black pepper sauce. It's good. The meat is just a bit dry, but it's tender. For my dessert, I got the molten chocolate cake with salted caramel white. Of course, better paired with hot coffee. Time to rest, so I change into my pajamas. First time ako naka-experience na may pajamas sa flight. And yes, you can take them home. While I was changing, the crew also turned my seat into a very comfortable bed, ready for sleeping. A few hours before landing, I already requested for my snack. I just got the Caesar salad because I am still full. Ito naman yung beef sisig with yellow rice and the smoked chicken breast sandwich. By the way, Qatar Airlines serves food on demand in business class, so you can tell them when you want to eat anytime during the flight. They also gave us ladder rock chocolates before landing. And some wet towels again for freshening up. And finally, we landed at Doha International Airport. We're already here in Doha. We have connecting flight to Barcelona, so we have to stay here for two hours. Hello, we're already here at Doha International Airport. This is the famous bear here in Doha. There's the bear, the in front view. C55 yung gate namin, so kailangan muna namin pumunta dun sa kabilang dulo. May train pala dun sa taas, so dapat pala, we went to the second floor and rode the train. Papunta dun sa south wing kasi malayo pala siya. in the other wing of the airport already. So, may mga shops din dito. Yeah. May forest siya sa gitna. This is so nice. Going to C55. The most beautiful airport I've seen so far. Right? It's the number one though. Yeah. 
Kaya pala, they won the na best airport this year. This is so nice. This airport is so beautiful. As in, not nice. Beautiful. Nice is an understatement. It's so beautiful. We're here na at the gate. Look at this. You can tap your boarding pass. And your details appear. There. Cool. Show route. To the gate. Oh, ang galing. Wow. By the way, bago ko makalimutan, yung CR nila dito sa Doha, sa Hamad International Airport, may bidet. <laughs> We're so happy you may bidet. That's part of the airport. Yeah. <laughs> So, George wanted to eat at Gordon Ramsay Burger. Nagugutom daw siya. Although lahat kami busog. Wow, the are all steak. And no steak burger. Can we get an additional plate? And what is this?